Luke, um, just uh, for stars, just wondering what it was like you know, just being out there with fans for the first time in over a year. Oh, it was uh, it was awesome. I mean, it just felt so much better just even having those limited fans. Um, I don't know what the number was, but it was a uh, it was a much better feeling than what it was in this 2020 season. So uh, we were all really happy to have them out there, and uh, the energy was just not uh, noticeably higher with those fans. What did you feel like you got out of today? Um, I mean, we, we all just got out of today, just kind of going live and uh, having like more of a game atmosphere. Um, that's probably um, the biggest takeaway is having those fans there, uh, being able to go live, uh, a little bit more of a game situation um, and just being able to, you know, feed off the of fans energy and, and, uh, and play hard. Did it feel as competitive as it would during a normal game or normal scrimmage situation? Is it possible to kind of gauge that? Um, uh, as in a normal game against another team, you're saying? I mean, yeah. it probably wasn't quite that competitive, given we, you know, we were thud tempo in the in the red or in the in the uh, two minute, and uh, you know, we're not out there to hurt each other, but uh, it was pretty close. You could say it was probably pretty comparable to a spring game, uh, especially those uh, live periods at the end. You had the you had the one touchdown of the day. Um, just kind of talk you through talk through that that play. What happened? Oh well, uh, it was just more of a, a great great pass and great protection than anything. Uh, I was able to you know kind of get open. Uh, it was really good coverage by AJ, I believe it was, and um, and uh, I was just able to get a ball, and Chance was able to get a ball where uh, only I could catch it, and you know uh, the cards fell that I caught it. Uh, I think it was. Uh, overall really good and good protection that he could get that ball away and everything uh, just kind of worked out and I uh, for lack of a better term got a little bit lucky on that ball Luke what did you guys what did you guys learn from this spring just the, the five weeks of spring ball about this about this team um, I think this team works really well together um, we got a lot of good camaraderie um, I know the tight ends room, uh, we got a really, we're a really tight room and uh, we, we uh, I think this whole team is pretty tight and uh, we're uh, ready to go battle together um, come fall. Sweet. Thank you. Howdy guys. Um, well, that was fun stuff. Uh, you know, a good way to finish really in the five weeks of work, we've, we've been able to accomplish a bunch. Uh, it's been fun coaching these guys, watching them, uh, you know, compete and play and work together. And, uh, so I thought it was an awesome finish today with what we were able to get done. I uh, did want to make an emphasis on a couple of situations. I want to be smart with the roster. You guys got a list in regards to, you know, unavailable player here or there. And so, uh, I was pleased really with the work we got done in the situations and then to, to finish it off with Hodge changing his life. Uh, I thought that it was unique and fun. The guy's got a, a total kick out of that. It was a surprise to majority of the roster. I think he had told the D line room uh, that he was going to get engaged there. And, and I know you guys will hear from here and from him in a little bit. So anyhow, really pleased with how it went to get today and really the, the five weeks of spring ball. Jonathan, what did you learn out of what, what you saw today? Today, I was pleased with the physicality of the defensive front. Uh, I thought we tackled well for the most part. Um, you know, I thought it was competitive, and I was appreciative of that effort of those guys flying around. Um, I learned that I missed the atmosphere of a stadium with, with fans in it. That was awesome. Great crowd. Appreciate uh, Beaver Nation coming out. And uh, this game is fun. I mean, the band's playing. we got music going. There's uh, energy coming from a fan base and so I learned that I, I definitely missed that over the last two years when, when did you uh when did you know all these guys were going to be out and did you have to kind of retool what you were going to do today yeah yep uh, a few of them now are really outside of uh I, I don't know the details but 14 days of quarantine but it still takes a day or two to work themselves back in and so we this list had slowly been building um and so as we got within a couple of days of this, this Saturday, we knew we'd wanted to, we adjusted a few, few things and, 
and keep it kept it nice and tight. Did think we got a lot of good work done, but didn't put a position group or two at risk for you know taking too many reps. And just to clarify, all 14 of those guys, those were due to COVID. None of those were injured related. Correct. Just the protocol of it, whether we got a couple of positives, high contacts, and again, guys returning from their 14 days. As, as far as long-term injuries go, any, anyone from spring who could be out, you know, the start of fall camp? Not, um, I don't believe so. You know, we got uh, Dylan Black. has been dealing with something with his wrist um, that he'll, he'll end up probably having surgery on next week. There's a chance he could be late a day or two of camp, but not the entire thing. Um, and so outside of that, no, no long-term injuries that currently will keep him out of August. Position wise, was it was it mainly just the wideouts that limited what you guys could do today? Or there was there another group that I can't think of this kind of hit right? Hard? That was a key factor. Um, There's a couple of groups that really were too deep um, total, like you know, and so the biggest one for sure was receivers. Um, you know, with the two quarterbacks thing, got us down to just two guys there. Um, and so in general, I was really pleased with five weeks of work, how much we've gotten done. It didn't didn't feel like we needed to push the envelope just today um, with that. So that's why we kept it nice and tight. And again, I thought we got great work done today. What did you what did you mostly learn about this team over the five weeks of spring practice? You know, um, I do think we got a tight knit group, you know, watching them compete day in and day out. Uh, they, they got after each other, but with a mutual respect, I learned that we got some great leadership on this team. Uh, a couple of guys, you, you know, you heard from Luke already, you hear from Hodge here in a second. We got some good leadership on this team. I think that shows uh, being around them every other day, uh, spring practice wise. Um, I think we're, we're more physical defensively just across the board. I've learned that through now in, in spring ball is an emphasis for us, made some tweaks in how we want to approach tackling. And I think it showed up and I learned that about this team. With Sam Vidlack, where do you think he's at kind of compared to where when he got here five weeks ago? Kind of yeah, he, he's better. I mean, and he's had a skill set to create, but you could even see it today, how comfortable he was with some of the progressions, managing the game, the clock's running. He, you know, he played with great poise. Um, he's gotten better from practice one to 15. And, uh, and I think he's got a great opportunity to make a nice jump now in the summer because he's been exposed for these 15 days of practice to take advantage of it and shoot, compete in, in fall camp. Can you kind of, I don't know, maybe explain how much more difficult it is for him coming in here as somebody who's supposed to be a high school senior um, compared to kind of any other position group? Yeah. Well, one, you know, playing that position, you got to know what all 10 other guys are doing. And so that that's a piece of it. Um, I think also he comes into these practices in spring ball when 90, almost 5% of everyone he's playing with has had a fall camp or two or three, a spring ball, two or three of them. And so they're, they're more experienced. And so that's not always easy coming from high school to where you're really the best player on your team and you're comfortable in your system, done it for a couple of years to throw you into a new system, playing the most difficult position on the team, playing against guys that have way more experience than you. When did you when did you know that uh, Isaac was going to propose after after the scrimmage? Did you know a couple days ago or? Uh, well, when was it, Hodge? Hodge is sitting right back here. He's next on the mic. Uh, I think it was about a week ago, right? You came in and we started talking about it, and uh, he had a vision for what he wanted to take place. And so it was about a week ago as we started mapping out uh, what we wanted to finish the the Saturday's showcase with. Appreciate you guys. All right, next up we have Isaac Hodges and now Beyonce Taylor Lawson. You guys are ready? Go right ahead. <laughs> All right, I, Isaac, when did you when did you hatch this scheme? Mm, I think I mean it's been a few weeks now in the in the works, just like thinking about it, talking about it with Isaiah and um, just my whole family and just seeing what the best route to be was and then brought it to coach Smith last week. And, you know, him and DVD helped me out a lot with, with everything. So it was just a blessing to have them around. T Taylor, was it, was it, was it a surprise or not? Did you kind of know or? No, it was a surprise. I was like, kind of like wondering like, okay, I'm going onto the field for just picture. Okay, cool. But you know, everything was surprised. I'm so happy and excited. So I'm really excited. 
I was like, what, what were the nerves in the kind of minutes leading up to this? Uh, I was nervous from 5 a.m. The moment I woke up, I just was sitting there. Just I was nervous about the spring game and about this. So just it was just com compounded uh, nervousness, basically. So I, I wasn't nervous anymore after, you know, everyone started celebrating, but I, I was nervous all the way up to that point. Could you even concentrate on the game during those last couple of plays? Or? Man, I, I could, I could, but it was hard. You know, I was just like thinking about it a lot, but I mean, I was able to, you know, business and, 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 con and concentrate on my, on my game. How, how long have you guys been going out? Believe it or not, this is going to be what? Three months Almost now? Almost three months. Yeah. We we're both Christians. So Christians, we, we usually move kind of fast, you know, cause uh, we've got to keep the marriage bed pure. So <laughs> T Taylor, you're from Stanford. You go I am. To Stanford. Hey, what what year are you there? I'm a senior. And you're what 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 are you studying? I'm studying human biology um, with a focus in human physiology and sport performance. She's a lot smarter than me. <laughs> I was gonna. I was. I wasn't gonna say that. I just assumed that. <laughs> you guys could tell. You guys could tell. But how often are you able to be out in Corvallis? Have you been living out here? Is this kind of your first time visiting? How did that work? <laughs> well, I've always like come here to like compete and everything. So definitely going to be making a whole lot more trips out here, you know, support my fiance and everything. So I'm looking forward to it. Did, uh, did it, did it seem like most of the guys on the team were surprised? I know some of your line, the linemen knew, but did a lot of guys seem surprised? Yeah, I mean, a lot of dudes were surprised. I mean, even in the locker room, like leading up a couple of days, they overheard me saying I was going to propose. They're like, you got a girlfriend? And I was like, yeah. Like, <laughs> so they're, uh, you know, they're just surprised about the whole thing. And then I'm sure there's people who didn't even know any of this was happening or like, wait, what? So, yeah. Uh, from a football standpoint, what did what did you get? What did you learn today about your team? I, I just learned that we could just go out and compete no matter, you know, what the circumstances are. You know, we're light in bodies today and just, you know, everyone just still had that eagerness and urge to want to go and compete rather than just say, oh, well, we're not really having a full spring game, so we'll just take it easy. Like, no, everyone competed to the, to the last whistle. So that was good. Did it feel kind of bizarre at this point to have fans back in the crowd? Maybe not. Maybe bizarre is not the right word, but it's been been a long time. I was I was hearing people saying that, but I mean, I was just to me, it's like almost been like not very long since they haven't been in the stands. You know, what I mean, it was it was just cool to just have everyone back and uh, just feeling their energy. They're doing chants before the game even started. And, you know, just that aspect of it. Um, it wasn't it wasn't too weird, but it was just it was awesome to have back for sure. I can't wait for, uh, you know, that first home game when it's packed out. How many people, friends and family wise, did you have here today? Uh, I had my fam, my mother, father and baby sister. And then her mom was here. And then I had a few other friends in the stands and stuff like that. And then obviously 120 dudes on the field, all my brothers. So did, the, did they all know about the proposal plan? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone knew. But her. But me. <laughs> yeah. I guess I should have asked earlier. How, how did you guys meet? Well, so. How we met was during COVID, obviously, so it's hard to kind of like get out in person and see people. But we all we had mutual friends on Instagram and things like that. So she was in the Bay Area and kind of heard about her. So, you know, I randomly found her on Instagram somehow. And two weeks later, sent her a DM and then it was off to the races. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys, congrats. Thank you, thank you.